guys, it's Fraser Friday once again, and I am particularly excited about this Friday because this is going to answer a question that a lot of you've been asking in the comments, which is how do I make a bounce phaser in MA3? And what makes me especially excited about this one is I get to talk about some amazing creators out there who have been making plugins that have been helping all of us programmers around the world. And those are our friends over at MA Tools within their library of many plugins that I highly recommend checking out. Under the phaser collection, you're gonna find one called the Bounce Maker. And the Bounce Maker is what we're gonna be using here today. If you wanna check out the Bounce Maker for yourself and you haven't already purchased it, you can hop over to their website and purchase it with the code Araya on the run for a 10% off. Even better, this code also applies to the entire phaser collection bundle so you can get the flyout maker, the random maker, and the bounce maker all in one. But today, let's look at the bounce maker. Within the Grandma 3 software, I have already imported my bounce maker plugin. I have gone ahead and I've registered my USB stick, so now I'm all set. All this information you'll find on MA Tools website on how to do this and get your plugin up and running. But how do we use it? I'm gonna grab my spots gridded group here, and I'm going to click on my bounce maker. This opens up the bounce maker. UI, which I like to move just over here, just so we can kind of see 3D as we're moving along. The first thing I like to set is where this is going to store when I store my phaser. So if I press this little icon here, this actually closes the UI and allows me to click on any preset that I want to be used to store this information in. I'm gonna choose dimmer preset number five. Great, so now I can see it's referencing preset 1.5. I could also have typed it in there, but it's always more fun just to press the buttons instead. Uh, then I can put in the label, so we're going to call this my awesome bounce because I don't know where we're going to end up. We're just learning together, right? And the next thing we need to do is set the high and the low value. So where are we going to and from? I can, again, just like up here with the reference of where it's going to store, I could also type in the reference of the presets themselves. But there's also this little target icon, which allows me to click on the open preset for step one. I'll click the target icon again and press the closed preset for step two. So now it has pulled that information in, but we don't have anything running yet. This is because the Bounce Maker plugin itself does not start running until you hit apply. Every time you hit apply, it puts those values into the programmer and now my lights are actually doing the bounce. From there, it's a matter of how do we want to manipulate this bounce? My measure here is set to one. Maybe I want measure set to two since that's what I've kind of been doing uh, as we go along through these videos, so I'm gonna hit apply. Great, and you can see like those changes happen after I hit apply there. Uh, maybe I want it to run a little bit faster. Let's up my speed to maybe 120. Again, if I wanna see anything, I do have to hit apply. Uh, the width here, you'll notice the width in step two is grayed out. This is because when I change the width of step one to maybe 25%, it automatically changes the width of step two to 75%. Uh, this plus button here allows us to select which preset pool we're going to and then the preset itself. So this is how I could manually choose that preset instead of pressing this target icon. So I could go to plus, dimmer, and then choose my open preset instead. I could also swap the steps so that step two becomes step one, step one becomes step two value-wise. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, then you have settings here within the matrix. So this, these buttons here just allow us to decide which direction it's gonna run on the X, Y, or Z. I'm just gonna leave X on running this way while we look at some of these settings together. Uh, I could have groups here. So let me set my groups to three and hit apply and let's see kind of what that does to our bounce. So, yep. So then maybe I want it to be symmetrical. So I have to set groups back to zero and then wings back to two. You do have to make sure you set it back to zero because if you leave it blank, the plugin can't output the, put the information into the MA the way it needs to. And I hit apply and now I have a symmetrical bounce. Maybe I want step one to be even smaller. Let's make this maybe 10. I'm gonna hit apply. So now, yeah, and then I want it to kind of trail out. So I'm gonna set that decay to 100. And cool, now it's like snapping on, delaying out as it goes in and out. And I'm gonna do lots of this with my hands because that's how it feels. Um, but great, so like, let's say this is our bounce that we wanted, looks great, we're ready to go. I'm gonna hit store and close. So you'll see this information was put into the programmer and what did the bounce maker actually do? It actually made six steps. So what's happening behind the scenes is the bounce maker is going through and it's putting the information in the steps the way it needs to so that it can go 
back and forth and it's just a quick way of doing it. Yes, I could go through and I could manually build this this way, but at the end of the day, I do not need to be spending my time doing that when there is a tool that's as simple to use as this one. However, this information is stored selectively. This is not global information or universal information. So this will make it tricky if you're truly trying to stick to the intention-based programming style. However, if a selective preset works for you, or maybe you just wanna think about this one when you're cloning, then the bounce maker is for you. When I want to pull this back into the programmer, I can click on the bounce maker itself. I can hit load existing. I can choose from dimmer and I can choose my awesome bounce once again. And you see it pulled all that information back into the programmer, back into the bounce maker so I can continue to manipulate it from there. So you know, I thought my decay was a little too much. So I'm gonna change this to 50, hit apply. That looks great, store and close. And now it's gonna ask me what I would want to do. It's going to do a store merge. And are you happy to continue? Yes, I'm very happy. And I'm going to hit okay. This was just a little bit about what the bounce maker can do for you. I can't wait to see what kind of bounces you're gonna put onto your shows. And don't forget to go support our friends over at MA Tools so they can keep doing their job of making these amazing plugins so they can keep making our jobs just a little bit easier. Go use code Araya on the run for the phaser bundle or the bounce maker itself. And I can't wait to see you next Friday.